ignite your love in me that will make me a bona fide partaker of the blessings of this wave of glory. Go ahead and pray. Ignite your love in me. You know, you have my love. I'll manifest myself to you. Lord, ignite your love afresh in my soul so I can become a bona fide partaker of this glorious wave. Thank you, Jesus. Shed your love abroad in my heart. Get me on the path of the life of obedience to your commandments, your instructions, your directives. So help me, Lord. Now speak to me, Jesus. All the people gather early in the morning for to hear you. I want to hear from you this morning. One word from God can set a man on a new pedestal forever. Now I want to hear from you, Jesus. All the people came early in the morning into the temple for to hear you. Help me to hear from you this morning. Take all the glory and praise. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Father, thank you for another bright day. Thank you for this awesome week of harvest. Thank you for what you are out to do in the life of every one of us. Receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Now speak to us this morning and let your word put us to where we truly belong in you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please, let's be seated. What a planting season is to a farmer is what a revival is to us as believers. It is spiritually a demanding season for everyone who cares to engage. It is ordained a spiritually demanding season for anyone who cares to engage. It takes you and me out of business as usual to business proper. First Chronicles 13.7 they put the ark on the cart. The ark reacted. Because it is ordained to ride on the shoulders of men. And God caused a bridge among them, he slew Uza for putting his hand to help the ark from falling. Then in First Chronicles chapter 15, verse 7, they discovered why that happened and repositioned to let the ark ride on the shoulders of the priest as ordained by God. Verse 7 and then verse 12 to 14. And then the ark was carried to its place. The movement of the ark is an illustration of the reviver, a reviver. It rides on the shoulders of men. Jesus found the lost sheep, put that sheep on his shoulder. Rejoice with me, for I found my sheep which was lost. That's what makes it a demanding season. Haggai chapter 2 in that prophetic revival, he said, Be strong and walk, because your work shall be rewarded. In Second Chronicles chapter 15, be strong and walk. So it's walk. Revival time is walk. May each one receive grace to engage appropriately for maximum returns in Jesus' precious name. Now, there's a place for everyone in a revival. That's the exhortation line. There's a place for every believer in a revival. There's a place for everyone in a revival. Simple illustration we have in Matthew chapter 20 and verse 1 to 10 that was the parable of a householder that went out in the morning third hour, he saw some folks why are you standing here? do? There's no one, get to the vineyard there's a place for everybody. 
Now, went on in the sixth hour. Found some other fellows standing idle in the marketplace. Hey, what's going on? Get down to the vineyard and walk. In the ninth hour, the same thing. The eleventh hour, the same thing. There is a place for every believer in a revival. Every believer that chooses to engage, there is more than enough room. The sky is too wide, they say, for two birds to collide. You never know there are birds flying in their millions and maybe billions in the atmosphere. Yet the sun has not been shielded from shining. There is a place for everyone in space. There is a place for you and I. Everybody has a place. The vacancies cannot be filled. Everybody he met, everybody he met in that parable, there was place for them. I said, whatever is due, you will be paid. So it's not just a place for fun. It's a place of business. You'll be paid whatever you are due by the end of the day. But don't forget, it stopped at the 11th hour. May you not watch your 11th hour pass without waking up and taking your place. Nothing can be more regretful than to think back on opportunities lost. Opportunities. It, it can be so painful. And yet, you can't recall. I can't be enlisted in the army anymore. It's late. Gone forever. No. I'm too young to be enlisted now. I can't become a sports star anymore. Too late. I'm forever. The limit hour has passed. The eleventh hour has passed. May the eleventh hour not pass over anyone's life here. Yeah. Now, today we're looking at a place for every for witness in Christ to the lost. Everybody has a place in the field of so many. Everybody. I am the vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, it takes away. And every branch, not, so every branch is ordained a fruit bearing branch. That's the meaning. Now, are you talking about the fruit of the spirit? No, no, no. Harvest of souls into the kingdom. He said in verse 8, in this is my father glorified that to bear much fruit. My God. In verse 16 he said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you that he should go forth and bring forth fruits and that your fruit should abide. So he's talking about bringing fruits of the souls of men into the kingdom. There is a place of soul winning for every believer in the vineyard. It's not a gift, it's a choice. This is my commandment. I have chosen you that you should go and bring forth fruit and walk to ensure that your fruit abide. Then you win my favor. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. There is a place for everyone in a revival to engage in soul winning. What's in it? You have my commandment. You keep it. My Father will love you. I will love you and will manifest myself to you. Turn you to a living wonder among men. John 14, 21. What's in that commandment? It puts you in command of the supernatural. 
everyone that he sent and went. Amen. <laughs> the supernatural answer to them. They were practically in command. Go to all the world, preach the gospel. And this sign shall follow them that believe. And he was working with them, confirming their word with signs following. So every fruitful soul winner enjoys another level of command of the supernatural. So it's <laughs> the marketing point. You will not miss your place in it. You will not miss your place in it. You will not miss your place in it. Jesus said, I must walk. There was something that sent me why it is day before the eleventh hour is over. For the night coming, where no man can walk. John 9 4. Be awake. So when it's not just about sharing the gospel, it's also about sharing your testimony. The testimony of the woman at the way brought a whole lot of people from the city to be with Jesus. Many were saved through her testimony. And many more got saved as he brought them to church. To Jesus Christ. You don't need experience to share your story. If you have truly an encounter with Christ, you are a soul winner. Can I hear your loudest amen? It's an open-ended platform for living an enviable life on the earth. Going after souls with genuine passion to see them saved. You will not miss your place in it. Every child of God is called to be an ambassador of Christ with a mission to reconcile the world back to God. Now watch. 2 Corinthians 5 17 and all the way to 20. Therefore if any man be in Christ a new creature, all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now, and all these all things of God was reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the new creature. The ministry of reconciliation. So don't let anybody around you have a ministry. Every child of God has a ministry of reconciliation that came along with his redemption. Every child of God, every child of God has a ministry. Now, listen to me. Now, watch, watch. I wasn't baptized in the Holy Ghost in 1973 when Jesus started that church. So what is, are you doing with your Holy Ghost? I wasn't baptized. I was baptized in the Holy Ghost in 1975. Passion for souls ran me into their midst to see them saved. Every child of God. It's a matter of wasn't baptized in the Holy Ghost. He drafted the whole time to Jesus. So you just have to make your choice. It's everybody's business. And it's ordained for a change of story. Now, see my encounter from that place. How it is speaking till now. The light we have brought to our village, let it shine around the world. My God. Passion. Give me my place in destiny. Passion. Passion for Christ. Passion for Christ. There are people who are too bothered about too many things. That's why too many things are not working. But we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Beginning from this season, all things will start working together for your good in the city, outside the city, within the country, outside the country, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Say with me, I have a ministry. A ministry of reconciliation from Christ, given me at new birth, given to me at my new birth. Now go down there to verse 19 of that same chapter. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 19. To wit, 
that God was in Christ concerning the world unto himself, not in putting resources unto them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Come over. Jesus makes living meaningful. Come over. Jesus gives peace that passes all understanding. Come over. You are, you are inviting them to Jesus, the changer of stories. Now, verse 20. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. So every child of God is redeemed an ambassador for Christ. And God by us is reconciling the world to himself. We are redeemed as ambassadors of Christ. And among other things, a faithful ambassador is entitled to healthy living. Every ambassador of every nation enjoys the backing of his home country. He eats their food. He drinks their water. If anything goes amiss, they fly him straight. Air ambulance, straight back to his country for the needed attention. He represents that nation bodily. So when you are in, you take your ministry of reconciliation, you are ordained an ambassador for Christ. You represent the kingdom of heaven on the earth with amazing immunity around your person your household and other patterns to you. There's a place for you in the field of soul winning for life. Can I hear your loudest amen? Interestingly, therefore, or furthermore, every reaping, everyone reaping and gathering fruit unto the kingdom gets on God's payroll. It that reap it receive it wages as he gathers fruits unto life eternal so that both he that reap it and he that sweat may rejoice together john 4 35 and 36 don't say there are yet four months and then come and harvest he said look the harvest all around you the harvest is all around you lift up your eyes you'll find it and everyone that reap it, receive it wages as he gathers fruits unto life eternal. So that both he that sow it and he that reap it may rejoice together. So there are definite guaranteed returns for our engagement. You won't miss it. You will not miss it. I know something that there are people here today that the rest, the remaining days of your life, which are many, if Jesus studies, you will not know the meaning of sickness anymore. As you faithfully engage in the harvest field, you have committed God to take sickness away from your body. Every part of your being. And that shall be your experience. Amen. Let me hear you loudest. Amen. amen. So we have that open-ended opportunity to witness Christ, to testify of him, and to invite people to him. So you don't have to be a preacher, an accredited preacher, a very powerful preacher. Just a child of God. A son and daughter of God who is overwhelmed with the love of God and sharing the same with other people. It's our operation Andrew week. Make sure you engage. Your engagement today will show tomorrow. Your lack of engagement today will also show tomorrow. God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that shall he reap. You can't pray to reap from a field you have not planted any seed. It doesn't work and will never work because why the earth remained seed time and harvest shall not cease stand to your feet please give the lord the biggest clap of praise everybody there is a place for every believer in a revival come and say with me there's a place for me there's a place of glory a place of honor a place of lifting a place of lifting of, of scaling new height in this revival now lift up your two hands and call for the help of the holy spirit holy spirit help me to maximize this awesome prophetic season in my life help me to maximize this awesome prophetic season in my life pray that prayer pray that prayer from the depth of your heart help me to maximize this awesome prophetic season in my life 
not business as usual but with fervency of spirit serving the lord fervency of spirit serving the lord with fervency of spirit serving the lord with fervency of spirit serving the lord with fervency of spirit serving the lord help me jesus Shagelaba, Kaledote, Eloria, Meketo Zazi, Ampra Bayaka, Tecleria Bo, Embabala Taco Zeco Redi, Shegina Baradato, Sani, Barizo, Peke Tendia Lora. Pray that prayer, everybody. Pray that prayer that on the altar of prayer you are harvesting souls of the kingdom with passion for souls who are getting them, you are calling them, you are writing them, you are compelling them to come. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name. Well, we all know that nobody waits on a door, knocking forever. Hello, anybody in the house? Hello, anybody in the house? Hello. They're not here. Whatever package you brought, he takes it back. May you be found there. May you be found there. May you be found there. No one we pass the 11th hour <laughs> may each one receive grace to respond promptly this time yeah. next sunday there shall be no room in the inn yeah. because we are going all out to demonstrate your passion and your love for god by your love and passion for the lost they shall be saved in their numbers lift up your two hands and speak to the day everybody speak to the day is your day today is your day Everything is working in your favor today. No distractions, no concerns. Your focus remains. And you are encountering favor today as you engage your heart in seeking after God. Speak to the day, speak to the day. Now lift your hand and begin to give glory to God this morning. Give him the praise that is due unto his name. And celebrate him from the depth of your heart. <laughs> 